Hello, my name is Melissa Geisel. For those of you who know me well, you'll know that my favorite art form is writing, especially fantasy writing. So that's what I'll be speaking about today. To talk about fantasy writing, though, I must first talk about literature and art in general. As I'm sure many of you have discovered in your English classes, literature has changed over the centuries. There have been many phases, from heroic monomyths to romance to realism. Currently, realism is the fad has been for decades among high-class literature. There's been a shift in the visual arts within the past century, though, away from realism, and the bulk of literature has been lagging behind the fantastical curve. Art has reacted against realism. The last century has seen the rise of new art forms drastically different from realism. In Cubism, which you lot should associate with Picasso, in pop art, these are pieces by Andy Warhol, And these are by Japanese Takashi Murakami. And then in sculpture and 3D art, these are glass pieces by Chihuly. And these are pieces by Donald Judd. These are surrealist pieces done by René Magritte, the outside images, and Salvador Dali, the inside images. And finally, in the dramatic rise of digital art, basically pioneered by Pixar and expanded by a multitude of others in more than just the movie industry. Another way I'm seeing the shift in art form is based on public reactions. So many more people have heard of Harry Potter and the Avengers than Cold Mountain, a realistic novel about the Civil War structured similarly to the Odyssey. Yes, I have looked online, and Cold Mountain has received lots and lots of rave reviews, but if it hadn't been assigned a summer reading for the seniors in AP Lit, how many of us here would have heard of it at all in the next few years, barring the chance that it's used in a college class? How many people would know of the book through the movie? How many people would even know of the movie? Here's my point. The current popular trend in art and entertainment has begun to lean drastically to the more fictional and fantastic, though high literature has yet to include in its ranks even the best of the newer, more popular genres. How many of you would consider the comic book Watchmen an intellectual, psychological breakdown of the superhero to be worth studying? Yes, there are some realist novels I've enjoyed, but I've never loved realism as I've loved fantasy. The world in the realist novel is boxed in by what this world can provide. With fantasy fiction and sci-fi, no such restrictions bind the writer's imagination. Sure, some might argue that it would be more of a challenge to stick within the bounds of the real world, but I will respectfully disagree. I believe it would be more of a challenge to create a world and flesh out all of its nuances and then portray the characters in a way that would, that would be relatable to the readers. Like the world from James Cameron's Avatar, except in book form and much less cliché. As many of you know, or have probably figured out by now, I'm somewhat ac of an academic and I enjoy the process of creating worlds and solidifying the science behind them almost as much as creating the story to take place within them. I started writing in eighth grade after I discovered a site called fanfiction.net, where people post their own stories based off of existing books, movies, comics, etc. Some of you may have heard of it. Anyway, after some, reading some of the work posted on that site, both near professional and amateur, I started writing, wanting to write my own. So I started writing fantasy fiction, and never stopped. There is a limitless amount of creative and artistic freedom in the fiction novel. I always loved reading fantasy fiction for that reason. It is a way to expand the imagination. It is a doorway to other worlds. When I started writing, I got to play within those worlds in fan fiction, and I've slowly branched out to brainstorming my own. There is a kind of freedom in fantasy fiction, I can create just about whatever I please. It is, a, it is an exercise in creative freedom. I can stick closely to the real world, or I could stretch past the limits of plausibility. Here's another reason why I love writing. At the beginning of my speech, I described writing as an art form. Writing is as much a fine art as what is more traditionally viewed in that category, such as visual arts, music, and drama. The elegance in writing extends to many genres of novels, from realist to fantasy to sci-fi to mystery to romance, which I mean in the modern definition of the word, not the li uh, literature movement a couple centuries ago. In its freest form, 
Writing mirrors visual arts. It's just as expressive as other fine arts. I've never been great at traditional art like a few of my classmates, which was highly frustrating considering that I'm just as creative as they are. And I've particularly enjoyed incorporating the same creativity into writing from art. Why else do I write besides for the artistic freedom? It is my break from the real world. All people have a way to take a figurative break from reality, be it in music, art, sports, video games, or just spending time with family. When I immerse myself in writing, the stress from real life disappears, washed away by another world's reality. So to sum up what I've been saying for the past few minutes, I feel there's almost a nauseating amount of classical realist literature that analyzes the human nature. But what about the artistry and fantasy fiction? What of human nature in completely different settings? But even though high literature does not include fantasy fiction within its ranks, I will still continue to dream of alternate realities and transcribe them onto paper with all the artistry the English language can provide. I will always keep writing.